In a previous video, I talked about the useRef hook in React. I explained how the useRef hook allows us to get access to a DOM node, in this case, an audio tag, and this allows us to work with it in an imperative way. This video is going to be kind of an extension of that video that I did on useRef, because it's going to cover something called ref forwarding. And we use ref forwarding when we want to pass a ref from a parent component to a child component. So as you can see previously, everything was done here in this app component. But what if I want to split this out? What if I want to actually make another component called audio, for example, and bring it into app.js? And that audio component is the one that we want to hold this audio tag. Well, let's go ahead and try that out. In our source folder, let's make a new file and let's call it audio.js. And now in audio.js, let's import React from React. And let's create a stateless functional component, which we'll call audio. We'll export it at the bottom. And for now, let's just return an H1 that says audio just so we can see that we're bringing it in correctly into app.js, which we're gonna do now. We're gonna come in here in app.js and we're gonna import that audio component, import audio from dot slash audio. And let's go ahead and comment out what we had before. We'll comment out the audio tag and the button that we had. And let's comment out all this stuff that uses the audio ref. We'll just bring in the audio component as a child component here. And let's go to the browser and make sure that we see this audio heading here. Cool, there it is. All right, let's go back to VS Code. So now what we want to do is we want to use this audio ref, but we want to pass it into the audio component. So let's go ahead and uncomment all the audio ref stuff that we did before. And in the child component, what we're going to do is we're going to put in the ref attribute and assign that to audio ref. And then let's come into our audio.js file. And instead of returning this h1, let's grab this audio tag here and put that in. Make sure we uncomment it out. And as you can see, it doesn't know what track one or audio ref are yet. So let's go ahead and we'll remove track one from app.js and we'll copy and paste it into audio.js. So that takes care of track one. But now here's the part where ref forwarding or forward ref comes in. We need this child audio component to know about audio ref. So the way we can do that is before our parentheses here, we're going to write react dot forward ref. And we're going to wrap this component with this call to react forward ref like this. Now, normally a functional component like this, as you know, will take in props. But since we've wrapped this in react.forwardRef, we get a second argument, and that is going to be the ref. And now instead of assigning ref to audio ref, we're going to assign ref to ref, which is that ref that we passed in here as the second argument. So now we should be cool. If we save this file, we should hear our audio track start to play. Because in the parent component, we have use effect acting here like component did mount, calling the play method on audio ref dot current. So let's go ahead and save and make sure it works. Cool, so it's working. Let's come in here and comment this out for a second to stop the audio playing. And just one more thing I'll add is we can write this here in sort of an alternate way. What we can do is instead of writing react.forwardRef here and wrapping the component in it, let's go ahead and remove that. Remove those extra parentheses. And we can just export default react.forwardRef and then pass in audio here, which is this. Now let's go ahead and save that. Come back to app.js and uncomment out the child audio component. Let's save and make sure it works. Cool, so working as expected again. So what we did in this video was we talked about the idea of ref forwarding. 
how we can create a ref in a parent component. And then if we want to have a child component that makes use of that ref, we can use ref forwarding. And we showed how to do that here by calling react.forwardref and passing in the component. If you feel like you got something out of this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel so I can bring you more videos. I'll see you next time.